good morning to everyone all the viewers of this project in the continuation of uh, history of vasa this second lecture this final and the conclusion as we discussed in the first in that uh, what was the main aim of rasas lohwar or dhatuwar or the entirely different deva we have discussed in our first uh, interaction that uh, there are the two things what was the metallic transformation called as lohwar or dhatuwar and another one was here what we have said it is the metabolic transformation for the good health this is for the health and this is for the wealth the wealth and health is the motive of ayurvedic lassast but nowadays we are concentrating on the deva prominent i can say only deva because the all the practices of the lohwar and the dhatuwar is not in the public domain if someone is doing it uh, at somewhere then it is not on the record but on the record is this part that is the deva let me clear one thing before coming to the other points of the history the indian alchemy of the science is the book by s mehdi hasan really this book is providing very good information on the both aspects of the lohwar and the dehwar a very beautiful description is here that if you see all the temples of the lord shiva there are the three things compulsory apart from the link of the lord shiva there is one snake then another one is the vrishab and of course kachcha one may think if i am talking about the this relationship of the lord shiva and uh, this uh, three things snake vrishab and uh, kachcha this is the base this is the base of the Garcia is considered as uh, base of the Rasas, and uh, here if you see the points, what I am willing to connect is snake, Rishab, and the Kacha. May I ask uh, to my viewers to think that uh, why snake is quoted here? What is the purpose of the snake, Rishab, and the Kacha? See, the snake is always known for what? That is for mortality. The snake is known for mortality, and wisdom uh, is known for power. and certainly kachap is known for longevity so what's the desire of the human being throughout his or life that up to the 
last stage of the life, the mortality of his all locomotory organs in a perfect motion, in the coordination of the brain. Then the power, yes, the physical power. The person should have the power to perform every his or her activities by his own. That is the power. And the culture is the for the longevity. The life is bad. Everyone wants a long life. That, of course, this is just a coincidence when I am talking about the history of the Rasas. Just uh, uh, day after tomorrow, on the 25th October, there is the celebrations of the full time of the day by the Ministry of Ayus all over the globe. And this year, theme of the 2009 is longevity of longevity of life with quality. Right? And that particular thing, what is known as the Jive Sarga Satam. Jive Sarga Satam is simply for Jive Sarga Satam, you just have a quality life of 100 years in which your all sensory organs, your all locomotory organs, your all vital functions of the body should be in a proper way. I can't say that part of excellence what your youth have, but should be in the proper way. And that is the uh, philosophy of theme of this year Ayurveda day. That is the Jivain Sarda Sarda. See here, when are the objectives of the Rastas? Which the Lord Shiva is the symbolic for the Rasasana, hold the knowledge of the Rasas and the objective of the Dhisra theme of the Ayurveda day of the 2019 is not being complicated by, not being complemented by the objectives of the Rasas. The same thing is by the Rasas, that is the if Lord Shiva is the symbolic of the uh, all the knowledge of the Rasas, then these three parts, is name, Vrishab and Gacha, just uh, uh, symbolizing with the mortality, power and the longevity is just a coincidence. And this is just really this is a coincidence when today on the 23rd of Google uh, at Bangladesh University, I'm talking to you all viewers. And here, day after tomorrow, 25th of October, and the process is on of the celebration since last uh, 15 days. So my point is here, the S. Mary Hassan in the book Indian Alchemy of the Rasayan define it that Lord Siva, temples and the Lord is just, uh, uh, just clarifying the objects of the Rasas that a person in his life should have good mortality throughout, good physical power and of course the longevity that is the Jiva Sarva Now the point is here, how we can see this journey of the Deva in the books of the treatise of the recognized classics of the Vastas. If here you will see, uh, there are, uh, as per the book of the history of uh, Ayurveda, uh, quoted by the Acharya P. Sarma, there are more than 80 books which are listed that the dealing with the subject matter of the Vastas. Here I shall go through the examples of the book in which uh, these things have been quoted. I shall go first for the Rasendra Mangal. It is believed that uh, Acharya Nagarjun is the uh, author of Rasendra Mangal as well as the Ras Ratnakar. If you see the subject matter, it is said that it has been written into the eight chapters total. Only four chapters are available, commented by none other than the Professor H. S. Sarma, uh, who served at the Virat Ayurveda University, IBJTRA Jamnagar, the Department of the SAS. He translated this, and if anyone goes through this book, 
there are certain examples of uh, medicinal formulation having these metal and the minerals as an ingredient in a form after the some pharmaceutical processes and the this period is the fifth AD and here all things are not elaborated uh, very perfectly the processes of the purification what we can show them are the jaran, maran, sanskar this book is not explaining all that uh, by which a normal learner may understand all these things but the scene is here the scene of the medicinal usage of the Rasopsadis, you can say, are right from the Sindramanga. And if you go to the this book, that is the Rasprata Sudhakar, and it is in this book, the, this is the uh, written by the Acharya Shodar. I can say that this book is the first where a full chapter of the medicinal formulation and those are in hundred in number is described and uh, the total total number of the chapters are here 11 and out of 11 chapters I can say that uh, hundred formulation are put in in chapter That is the seventh chapter. No, 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 no. It is the eighth chapter, Ashtavadhyaya, where all these formulations are just being quoted. That uh, that number is in hundred. Why it is so important? Because prior to Rasmanas Sudhakar, there these formulations are described in different different chapter in a scattered way. But here. One full chapter, that is the chapter number 8, is completely given for the with the 100 formulations. And these 100 formulations are for the purpose that is, uh, I can say, serving the purpose of the therapeutics at that time. So, this is the first book which is giving the whole of, uh, number of formulations, and that is the 100, a significant number as a formulae to treat different kind of diseases which are varying from normal germ to the complicated or the, with the Rasayan effects or the Vatpyadi or the, any other Tiptasvika all these formulations are here very much if you come to the third book which uh, I want to discuss and that is the Rasendra Chula Madi this book is also emphasizing much about this is the writer is here Acharya Shomdev and uh, this is again into the just 11th century you can say it is the 10th, it is the 5th meanwhile there are the other books also here the Rasarama and the Rasadhyakar between the Rasini Mangal and Rasadhyakar Rasadhyakar but mostly they are emphasizing on the process of the Dhatuvara and Lava very scattered way that is the Devat in between the Rasadhyakar or the Rasarama here, if you, this is the foundation of a chapter in the first time into the Rasmana Sudhakar. It has been carried out further by the Rasendra Chudamadi. And uh, after that, what I call this book, this is Rasat Samuchya by Rasvab Bhatt. The connecting link, the perfect connecting link between the Law of art, principles of the law of art, and the principles of the therapeutics. Because out of the 30 chapters of this book, 11 chapters are dealing with the fundamentals of the alchemy and the processes, and the rest 19 chapters are for the therapeutic purposes. A major sale is here shifted to the, the major attention of the knowledge of the Rasas is shifted for itself. Therapeutic purposes. This is really 
very connecting to which book of the Ayurveda because if you see the, all the books of the Ayurveda which are dealing with all the therapeutics they are just uh, having prominency of the herbal formulation and in this the Vilayatrai, the Charak Sangita, the Susu Sangita and the Astam Sangra include, uh, we, we can take in account Astam Hedda also somewhere in the Astam Sangra and the Astam Hedda these three books are mainly having its prominence with the herbal formulation. But here, see from the fifth theory, if the travel of this knowledge, the discovery, the innovation of this knowledge is being taking place, and up to the Rasal Samucha here, I can say here, full up to the Rasaka Sudaka, full 500 years, and then the more laboratory, here is a 700 year the knowledge that have been converted from the alchemy to the therapeutics. If you see here, uh, the Rasenya Shuramani and the Rasatta Muchen, and of course the Rasenya Shuramani is the first and the better in the Rasatta Muchen where the processes of the sodhan of a particular ingredient of the Maharas group, Upras group, Sadharanas group, Dhatu group, Uptatna group have been defined in a very elaborative way and uh, then by going through all that knowledge which are existing in these books one can understand this cosmological process and move forward for the preparation of the source of these and in the same series there are the two books which I would like to mention here these are I made Prakas of the 16th century and in the 6th chapter in Toto and uh, yes uh, of course this is the Rasatha uh, which is the connecting link and if I go through this I will Prakas having 6th six chap six chapter here is the sea change in the objectives here in this book also as the Rasadhyaya or the Rasaram, the emphasis has been given on the Dhatu one. That is the metallic transformation. I always try to understand as a student of the Rasakshi what may be the basic reason that even after the Rasakshi of the Rasman world, which is very much popular among the physicians and among the concerned all the stakes of the Rasa. This book, I read Prakash, where the word Ras is not existing. If you see all other books prior to this and or after this, the word Ras is always somehow some way there, starting from the Rasa Mangal to the Rasa But this book, in the 16th century, its title is not having the name Ras. It is only I read Prakash. What does it mean? What are the messages here? And the whole subject to matter has been changed. If you see that the two third of the uh, Rasatha Mucha is of the therapeutic purpose, Ayurveda Prana is not uh, showing that much amount of the concentration on the therapeutic processes. Once again, it is talking about the alchemy, Dhatuva, and the pro all the processes of the mercury for different purposes. Okay. Uh, up to my understanding, I explain it in this way that uh, if the 1500 year of the history of Rasa may be divided into the three stages that is the invention period and then the, I can say, the golden period or the practice period and once again, here I can say it, prohibition period this 500 to 700 years took place, the invention period, where the all the pharmaceutics related to the Rasas process, the namely the Sodhan, Jaran, Maran, Sanska, Amriti Karan, Loiti Karan, and the many more are defined very systematically in this period of the invention period. Then this is the practice period, which uh, run from approximately from 11th to 15th century 
If the extended part, that may be up to the 16th century. And here, this is the period when the whole subject of the Rasas concentrated basically on the two objectives which had been defined into the Ayurveda as well as in the Rasa, that is the Rasayan and the Bajika. And all the formulations of the books of this period of the Rasas is dealing with the objectivity of the Rasayan purpose and the Bajika. Here in this period in this country, known as the uh, previously Arya one, Bharat was now the India, is the under the emperorship of the a lot of uh, regimes, followers of the Islam. And their culture is a little bit different from the all emperor of the, this country, uh, which were basically prior to this uh, followers of the Islam, they were practicing the Hindu dharma or the Sanatan dharma and they have some another kind of the concept of the ruling but here I can say with the basics of the evidence they have another concept and where the, all the uh, applications of the Swarna Bhaj, Rajat Bhaj, Moti Bhaj and all kinds of the other metallic preparations to fulfill their desire of the good health, good body with the good sex that was the point where so far the Rasayan and the Bajikaran was developed in this particular period of the 300-400 year and I say that in the golden period of the practice of the Rasayan and if you see here the prohibition period it is really uh, giving a lot of messages approximately 17th century and onward up to the 21st other. Meanwhile, one period is really different, I shall quote that also. When the Britishers came here and they were the ruler of the major, major part of the country, nowadays known as India, they had their own system of the medicine, what we call allopath. They developed everything from India, what they don't have in their particular, uh, I can say, the United Kingdom or the England because here the, uh, uh, in some part there were the French colony also there were the, some other European countries also which has their colony but the majority is majority or at that time or the Britishers I don't know why but I try to understand it they never supported this Indian system of the medicine they they studied the India in a very different way. They utilized its all resources, its all treasure of the archaeology or the forestry or the anything else which are having I mean, the uh, relationship with the human life. They exploited that well, but reasons we are unable to understand, but able to understand, they never supported this Indian system of the medicine in their ruling period because they were of the opinion that uh, this Ayurveda or even uh, this Rasa is not good for the public health due to the lack of the in their opinion evidences, the data which they call that needed for the uh, to be accepted as a system of the medicine. Okay, with respect to them, I will say here, if you see the European history, then there also the, even the Galen, the Paracelsus and even there is the documents in the American Defense of the Navy, the publications of the BMJ, the publications of the other reputed uh, Lancet up to the 1960, up to the 1970s, uh, beginning from the 1930, 1940, I'm talking about the last century, and even before that, they tried to prepare mercurial medicines, but they failed. Their message just remained up to the Provide from the mercury as for the purpose of diabetics or the for the treatment of the syphilis. But in contrast to that, if you see in the Indian subcontinent, and India has developed all these pharmaceutical processes, which I am again counting that is the Sodhan, Jaran, Maran, Sanskar, Bhavna, Amritikaran, Loitikaran, all having the different objectives by which they are making. This uh, particular particular medicine, metallic medicines, very much amazing medicines, miraculous medicine for, for treating a lot of even in the acute conditions and of course for the chronic disorders, which the Britishers never accepted 
and they always try to criticize this particular knowledge known as the Ayurveda and specifically in the Ayurveda, this is the Rasamsadi Rasamsadi. 